Yeah, I was watching a couple of VODs of Cosmos uh, for his Pithra, and I'm excited to see uh, how it performs here. Um, you know, Cosmos has, uh, he has an Inkling, he has a Corrin, and um, he picked up Pikachu for a while during quarantine. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, him and Esam had a little bit of a, like a first to 10 uh, between them, but um, you know, you never know what he's going to pull out from his bag of tricks. Oh, right? And you know what, Perry over Mithra versus uh, Pit. It's going to be a very interesting matchup, just because Pit is going to be able to land with the Orbiters, but Pyrus or Mithra is so fast that she can just grab him anyways. And Pyra is so strong, she might just, just break the Orbiters outright. Yep. Starting off with Mithra here, we're going to see, uh, I, I want to see the um, usage of when Mithra and Pyra are going to come out. I think the names are, yeah, the names are a little bit reversed there, but we'll get it updated very shortly. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, using the Orbiter's kind of like land, but so you the know what? The scoops under it and it's going to be able to send him into a juggle situation. Cosmos is all over him using Mithra's uh, movement speed very well here to uh, keep him in disadvantage. Dash back forward smash, not going to work out there. I've, I've heard he, Cosmos has a forward smash habit. It's one of those things where his movement with Mithra is just so clean. He's able to you know, weave in and out of his opponent's range and just you know, shark underneath them or catch the landing with forward air. Uh, the down is able to uh, get him to land there, but 170% we're definitely going to see uh, the Pyra come out here. Oh, unfortunately, he doesn't get the hit of the side beat right there. Well, yeah, that down is going to be able to uh, keep himself safe through that uh, aerial from Pyra, but Cosmo is trying to find some sort of jump, some, some sort of defensive option uh, to punish and kill, but yeah, that's going to be it. They'll cross up through the shield, and Cosmo is able to take the Sogma with the back air. And the interesting thing I think I've seen from Cosmos is Pyra right there is that he didn't throw out side B once when he had Pyra out. Which I find to be very surprising because a lot of Pyra players, they love that side B. Yeah, and I mean, Cosmos is all over Chicken and Cup here. Uh, Chicken Cup here. He's not allowing him to get any space between them to uh, mix up the way he's bursting uh, towards Mithra. And he's really pushing the envelope with, the, with his insane movement speed. You know, Mithra is one of those characters where she doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but she's able to, you know, poke you here and there so many times so quickly that it just racks up. Wow, that was insanely good. Empty land into a dash back four tilt to keep him in the corner, and Chicken Cup in a tech chase situation here, able to uh, find that tech uh, tech in to avoid it. Yep, he's just, come on. Cosmos is all over the place with Mithra, covering every single option he has, but that armor through is going to uh, break through the forward smash there. And we can tell that Mithra is just so clean getting all this damage. He doesn't feel the need to go to Pyra yet. Because sometimes, like, yeah, just a raw up smash or up smash can take the stock as well. That up smash covering the side B that uh, ran off the platform there. And Cosmo's looking very, very strong with his Mithra. You know what? We see Cosmos no, not trying to press a button. He's just waiting for his opponent to commit to something first and then whip punishing it. Yeah, he has the movement speed to do so. And utilizing these jumps, he's not fast falling, he's just doing full hot step. Picks up the way he's approaching, and uh, Chicken Cup is unable to find anything. Oh, gets the grab. Forward throw, going for the down air there, very aggressive. There we go. And you know what? The Pyra's out play only for a little bit, trying to get an easy trolley, easy spike, but you know what? Going to the Mithra, trying to get more damage before he needs to figure out how to get the kill. Catch attack, sending him away. Drag down into the forward smash, not going to be able to uh, connect into a down smash punish of uh, Cosmos' his own. There go, gets the forward tail, gets the re-grab on the ledge. Ooh, oh, going for a back air there, he's not going to be able to take it. Yeah, you know he wanted the air dodge, but because Pit does have the Orbiter, you know, he has that additional option, but you know what, that's going to get punished. That's going to get super punished right there. Yeah, it's really difficult to even, you know, just in general, you know, credit to Cosmos because Cosmos is very, very, very good. Right. But it's just going to be difficult for Pit to deal with uh, Mithra's burst range. It's very different because of her high jumps and her ability to use that movement speed. So you're going to see Mithra winning neutral with that movement speed and you're going to see um, Chicken Cup just trying his best to maybe create distance or throw out some aerials to try to catch him. But Cosmos is picking his spots extremely well, very wisely and finding his opening. And we just see him, you know, like Pitt's, you know, slow jump high because he's a multi-jumper. He doesn't jump high. So he kind of almost has to throw out his move, hoping that Mithra runs into them. Three, two, one, go! All right. Starting off with a drop through a uh, forward tilt. I like the stage pick from um, Chicken Cup. It gives him a little bit more uh, distance and ways to uh, change up his where he's going to be in relation to Cosmos. But 
Cosmos immediately switching to Pyra on the ledge trap. Very interesting choice. He's saying, I don't need the movement speed. I'm, I'm going to be able to whip punish him. And that forwarder is going to send Chicken Cup off stage. And going for the downer once again, not connecting through the orbiter. Oh, getting the re-grab right there. Gets another punish on the air dodge. Chicken Cup looking very, very comfortable on this stage. Oh, Ooh. gets the trying to get the fourth tail, but not going to be able to get past the armor. Back air sending Chicken Cup off stage. Oh, this should Went be dead. a little bit too high with the up, not snapping to the ledge. And Cosmos able to close the stock out with the uh, pyro. So, yeah, Cosmo is just you know, smothering him with all wow. this aggression. 40% open up. She could never. Yeah. These are insane. With all this movement speed, you would think she had the trouble racking off percent, but Mithra still has the options to get percent going. All right, catches the end here. There we go. That was yep. very, very good. Uh, going with a rising nair on the platform, finding it into a, 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 a tilt or a smash? That was a down smash, right? Down smash. Yeah, you normally see Pitts landing with that to combo, but because he landed on the platform, it was almost like a pseudo landing right that there. That was a very good read from Chicken Cup there. Um, he didn't go for an aerial instead, landing on the platform to get a re-grab, and the orbiters are going to save him once again. All right, going for the empty hop, waiting, baiting out the orbiters. Back air, trying to find some... Uh, find an opening. He has the lead. Or he doesn't. Sorry, he doesn't have the lead. Uh, he has to come back from a lead. Uh, from a deficit. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world for Chicken Cup. You know, it's definitely. What Pit does have is that he has good kill options in the forms of the smash packs and, you know, just general edge guarding. But you know what? Speaking of kill options, yeah. down tilt two frame into four smash is going to be able to take it. Cosmos with a stock lead here. Very good whip punish on the nair using that dash and grab and 31% of back airs. Uh, I mean, Mithra is just so good at you know, catching your landing, catching where you're going to go. And I feel like Chicken Cup is just struggling to find his way in. You know, once he does get damage, once he does get a connect in, like, he can get something off of it. Like, yeah, like what you can do, he can whip punish just as easily as Mithra can once he gets the hit. It's just getting that hit is so hard for Pit. He's finding the punish game, it's just he's not finding his ways in. and. He can't even really avoid uh, Cosmos with all this movement speed. Look at that. No, Tech Chase platforms from basically like a cross stage, and he still managed to get the punish off of it. I'm but trying. going to be able to take it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right. I mean, he's definitely doing way better than game one, right? I feel like the smaller stage means that Mithra doesn't have too much space to run away to. Great empty land grab from Cosmos, sending him off stage. Uh, he's just trying to cover literally every uh, landing option with up tilt and four tilt. Oh my god, and wow, that sneaking in that back air, and Chicken Cup just was not ready for that. Probably DI straight in and went straight up as a result. Yeah, the backer was able to take it, uh, killing off the top there. 